so the engine bed is just about ready to be painted. Went ahead and got the cabin sold back down. Um, it's not complete. I actually used the original braces that went across here. So I have those um, epoxied in. Need to come back and put some tabbing over those. It's pretty nice to be able to stand on something flat for a change. Got the galley bulkheads in place and tapped in. So I need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and get finish sanding in between here and then go ahead and paint the inside of the hole there. I'm not gonna be glassing anything else to the hole, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that painted, then I can start installing the, uh, the cabinets. Same thing over here on this side, this was that little um, there's a little shelf up here, cabinet with a, a drawer and then a little opening cabinet down there. So that's glassed in. Gonna do the same thing. That's pretty much ready for paint. I've got the other bulkhead in for the closet now too. As well as this, this wasn't originally there but I added um, this little bulkhead in in the V-berth. And I'm going to add another one across here, and then the uh, the V berth bunk will like sit on top of those and go all the way forward. So over here is where the toilet was. So this little bulkhead is just going to go right there. I'm going to wait and glass that in once I start uh, rebuilding everything because there's not really a way to hold it in place there and for the epoxy to cure. So, I'll go ahead and get everything built, and then I'll tab that in. But yeah, it's uh, starting to look a little bit like a boat again. For the paint, I use this Pettit Easy Bilge, uh, which is a one part application. It's pretty easy to use. So, we'll see how it does. Alright, got the first coat of paint on there. Um, let this dry overnight. I'm going to come back and do another coat in the morning. Um, and I'm going to come back and touch all this stuff up. Uh, I'm going to paint this whole bilge once uh, I've finished all the fiberglass work. So I mainly just want to get this all painted and ready so I can sit the engine in here. And uh, I decided to just, instead of trying to build everything and then put the engine in, I'm going to get the engine completely installed. That way I can ha hook everything up, all the mechanical stuff. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, stuff being in my way. And then if I need to, I can take the engine back out. But um, I think I can just build everything up around it. So we'll see how that goes.